All right, so welcome back to episode four. So in the last video, I mentioned that we need to actually save the user to the database as well as authenticate themselves because right now we are authenticated with Discord, but we're not actually saved into the database and our session isn't attached to the user object as well. So we're gonna handle that in this video. So we're gonna go inside the models.py inside the Discord login folder. Okay, so this is where you're gonna declare all of your models. Okay, this is where we're going to create like basically the user model, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class called Discord user. And this is going to need to extend models.model, so the actual model class. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and declare all of our fields. So id integer field, And I'm going to set this as the primary key. So basically, we're basically just taking all of these fields and we're basically just putting them into our database, our database table. Okay, so this is what actually represents the actual user itself. So we're going to go ahead and create another uh, field for Discord tag. So this is going to be a car field, char field. And I'm gonna give it a max length of 100. Okay, uh, we're gonna also have the avatar. So that's also gonna be a, a char field, max length of 100 just to be safe. Uh, public flags, because with Django, you actually need to make sure you have max length. Okay, anyway, so big integer field. Okay, and then for flags, models. This is also going to be a big integer field as well. I think you can actually leave this as an integer field and it should be fine. Big integer field is needed for the ID because we're storing it as an integer. Or you can store it as a string, but I don't think that's a recommended though for primary keys. All right, so for locale, we're going to do char field and then max length of 100. MFA enabled, this is going to be a Boolean value, so Boolean field. And then last login. So this is actually required uh, because since we are basically building our own customization of the authentication system that Django actually has by default, we need to actually create this last login field. Okay, so this is going to be a date time. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave it like this for now and I'm going to show you guys uh, how this is going to work. Okay, so we have our model right now. And what we need to actually do is we need to create a migration for our model because we have this model, but we need to actually uh, get this model to work with our app. Okay, so there's a couple things that we need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go inside settings.py inside OAuth to Discord. Okay, that's remember, this is our main application with the settings. Okay, settings.py. And you want to just go into install apps. This is the, the list. And we're going to reference Discord login the apps and then we need to reference this uh, class over here so discord login config and that should uh it's actually i think it's giving me an issue for some reason let me try this again okay i think it's i think it's okay yep it's it's fine okay so we need to create a database migration because right now our model uh, is just a model like we haven't done anything with it yet we need to actually make it so that the model is migrate it into our application. Okay, so underneath the hood, what Django is going to do is it's going to create the actual uh, table for us. Okay, so to actually make the migration, we're going to type Python manage pi or manage.py. And we're going to go ahead and say make migrations. And then the name of our app, remember that's Discord login. Okay, and you can see now it says migrations for Discord login. So if we look at this folder, we have this migration. And like I said, all this is going to do is it's going to create the table for us. It can also update the table by like, you know, creating extra columns if we need to. Okay, this is why Django is amazing. All right, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to actually uh, make the migration, the SQL migration. So we're going to run Python manage.py SQL migrate or SQL migrate. And we want to take the name of our app. So this is the app that we want to migrate. And we want to take the ID, I think this is the ID, or the number, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to say 001. And you're gonna see it says create model discord user and it just executes a SQL query. That's all the create table, discord login underscore discord user, okay? And that's all it did, okay? That's all it does, very simple. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to run python uh, manage.py and then migrate, okay? And there we go. So that's just three commands that we need to run in that exact order. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can run our app again. Run server. Okay. So we shouldn't get any issues. 
Okay, but now that we've migrated it, we can actually start saving users to the database. We can also check the database too. So if I do slash DT, you can see that we have the discord login underscore discord user uh, table over here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So now that we have our uh, table in the database, we can actually start saving users to the database. Before we do that, we're actually going to set up the authentication, the custom authentication. So by default, Django actually has a built-in authentication system, but you can also customize it so you can use things like OAuth2, or you can customize it however you need to, but we'll do that in the next video.